Hmm. Who have we got here? Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who fought against the Fatui and Osile, right? <laughs> Ningguang told me about you. A traveler of great insight and remarkable skill has saved Liyue, she said. She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. I remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person. Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, I guess that time has come. Hey! The name's not Floating Thing! It's Paimon! Paimon? Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes, the stars. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay then, once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute, what's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people- You've got nothing to worry about there. I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's gonna turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well... This remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's gotta be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the Clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So, if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You... want to go there? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Up to you. You just want him to take part in your tournament! <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. 
I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? <laughs> Great! Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the end. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. So come on, we all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. Ugh, all right then. I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers! Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals! This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, Hyman was thinking that too. Alright, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. We're finally here, folks! The real show is about to begin! <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit-chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind, and it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt, and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. 
In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on, don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Uh, wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met! You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say... it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, Somehow Paimon still believes you! My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Ah, it's nothing really. Paimon just told them whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then... Let's test your skills, shall we? <sighs> you control the elements without a vision. Oh, pay no attention to me. I was just talking to myself. <clears throat> I will be sure to observe your battle intently. Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. 
Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> Then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably, sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro Visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With time, we will change, but the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. <sighs> Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged! Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liyue's Traveling Hero! Wow! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant... Uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. We've got no other choice. 
If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist. I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me! No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision! Or, if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me! This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into, and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. You... You... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest your skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow, you still managed to catch up to me. <sighs> Dread. This could... This should have gone differently. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Huh? You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa! We don't need to go that far, do we? <sighs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it! I'll risk a fight! No! No! Do what you want, but please! Don't brand my forehead, please! He has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh huh? 
What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable, and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it! Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Huh. The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the Vision Hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated face divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Perhaps one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way, while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Kazuha! <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. All right then, it's time we returned. Do not let my feelings trouble you, but thank you. <laughs> 